Thank you, Sandra, for those kind words. Most Honorable Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller, Minister of Industry, Investment, and Commerce, Minister Hyland, the dynamic duo of Andrew and Paula Perriman, the co-founders of Anbell, to the entire Anbell staff, fellow business leaders, members of the trade exchange, and potential members of the trade exchange, guests and friends. Good morning, and thank you so much for inviting me to your beautiful country. I've never been to Jamaica before, so this is a treat. And I'm here to talk to you about the genius of the barter industry. You know, we all are in the same boat pretty much with this economy. It's tough on all of us. It's tough in the States. It's tough in Europe. It's tough in Asia. It's tough on everybody. I talk to people every day from all over the world, and they all say the same thing. They're very concerned about the global economy. So because of that, people are looking for new, innovative, and creative methods to break through and solve the malaise of what's been going on economically in this world. The modern barter industry because of the economy, is receiving more attention than ever before in the history of our industry. The UK, China, Malaysia, Ireland, Singapore, countries all over the world are looking to team up with their governments to provide alternative marketplaces through barter to solve these problems. In fact, the City of London, just on December 8th, released a major report, a 200-page report on reciprocal trading with the goal of creating a barter headquarters or hub for all of Europe in London. And they had another big meeting just on Monday about that, which Erda attended. So, and right now, right here on Jamaica's 50th anniversary for independence, we are gathered to celebrate Jamaica joining those other countries who recognize the power that barter has to transform regional and local economies. This is a transformation process. The International Reciprocal Trade Association applauds and congratulates Anvil Trade's vision and its charter members and the Jamaican government for working so hard to develop a world-class barter system in Jamaica. You might ask yourself, <clears throat> why is organized barter a viable solution with all these economic woes? The answer is really simple. The engine that drives barter is the unused capacity that every business has. That's the empty seat in a restaurant, the empty seat on an airplane. It's the lawyer that's only billing 25 hours a week when they really should be billing 50 or 60. That's on use capacity. Participants in organized barter systems like Anbell Trade get to earn new purchasing power by selling their goods or services on barter and receiving Anbell Trade credits in return. They then spend those trade credits on goods or services for their businesses or themselves personally that they would have spent cash on. When they do that, what happens? They have more cash in their checking account, more cash in their pockets. They've used their unused capacity to generate new revenues. And because organized barter is a third party trading system, they can buy from any or sell to any of the members of the exchange. It's not one on one trading. Dr. Morgan told me this morning that 43% of Jamaica participates in one on one trade right now. 43%, you already have an incredible base, an incredible awareness of what barter is about. It's time now to move it to the next level, to organize third-party trading. So when businesses barter, they effectively are preserving the, their cash flow. They now have more cash for essentials like rent or electricity or food, some items that may not be barterable. 
Barter members increase their revenue by gaining new customers through the barter system that they otherwise would not have done business with. This is critical. The barter industry is not in the business of displacing existing cash business. It's in the business of creating new commerce. It's that unused capacity piece. So, participants in barter maximize their unused capacity. The barter system gives them a new marketplace to buy and sell their goods or services. Think of it. If a barter system can bring a business, say, 10 to 15 percent more business a year than what they're currently doing, that could mean the difference between success or failure. It could mean the difference between hiring or firing employees. It's, it's not just all about creating 50 jobs, it's about maintaining the jobs that already exist. <clears throat> so, utilization of unused capacity, increased revenue, preservation of cash flow, and the capturing of new markets, these are the great benefits of barter. And remember, and this is one of my favorites, barter systems extend credit within their systems. We all know that banks have tightened their credit extension policies in the last three or four years. Small businesses have a tough time getting loans. Barter exchanges extend credit. It's amazing. So when a barter company offers credit lines to businesses, they are stimulating the economy and creating new and much needed commerce. IRTA helps in this process. Uh, Andrew mentioned our uh, online internet platform called Universal Currency. It's been around for 14 years. Um, and it's the largest inter-exchange online platform in the world. And basically, it's a trade exchange for trade exchange. So when Anbel Trade participates in universal currency, Anbel Trade's members can buy goods and services from all over the world. So members of Anbel Trade are not limited to just the goods and services right here in Jamaica. Anbel is truly an international company in that respect. And the other thing is that 85% of the commerce that universal currency does is hotel and hospitality industry related. That's a huge piece of your business here in Jamaica. IRTA and universal currency can bring you new, new consumers, new people to fill the hotel rooms, new people to eat at your restaurants. They can bring new travelers to Jamaica. It's also important to note that in terms of recognition of the barter industry, the U.S. formally recognized barter back in 1982 when it passed the Tax and Equity Fiscal Responsibility Act, known as TEFRA. President Reagan signed that in 1982. And what TEFRA did is it legitimized the barter industry in the U.S. It took it from something that was unrecognized and unorganized to a legitimate alternative business model. And how did Tefford do that? It basically said that your barter sales are considered taxable income. So businesses in the United States have to report their barter sales just as if it was tax. And barter exchanges were categorized as third party record keepers, just like banks. So for tax purposes, the U.S. government recognizes barter trade dollars just as if they were cash dollars. Now, TEFRA is clearly the, the, the biggest and, and, and best example of government involvement and recognition of what the barter system and what the barter world does. And consequently, all of those countries that I mentioned that are interested in getting involved in the barter industry or creating barter, barter models are also looking to TEFRA as the model to duplicate their programs after. The micro and macro level benefits are bar, of barter are real and they are substantial. <clears throat> A well-managed barter system 
that has the support of national and local governments can truly transform and improve economies and relieve people's financial stress. IRTA looks forward to helping Anvil Trade and the Jamaican government build a beacon barter system here in Jamaica that the entire world can look to and say, yes, that's how you do it. That's how you use barter to change your economy for the better. And we, we at IRTA really do believe in Jamaica's potential for barter, so much so that we're even having our 33rd international convention at the Sunset Grand Hotel in Ocho Rios on September 13th through 15th this year. <clears throat> we expect to have over 150 people representing 80 barter exchanges from all over the world at that convention. So we welcome all of you to attend that convention if you can make it. If you do, you'll learn more about our industry. You'll be able to network with the finest organizations in the barter business from all over the world. The reality is, with the government support that you have here in Jamaica, the existing, pre-existing awareness of barter, 43%, you truly have the perfect ingredients here to make this all work. And we at IRTA know you will. So congratulations to Ann Bell Trade, and congratulations, Jamaica. Thank you.